and welcome back. If you're new, hello, welcome. Feel free to subscribe, the button is down there somewhere. Today it's going to be a short and sweet. I have a few new bits I wanted to share with you. I got sent them from Influencer and a random PR. I have no idea who the PR is, it just turned up on my doorstep. So, they're all lip products, so I thought perfect. New in lips. Look at that for a snazzy title. First up is this lipstick. Now, this is from Max Factor. These have been around for quite a few years actually, the colour elixirs. I did a review on some that I bought years ago. I think it was 2013. I will link it on the screen. You can forgive the quality. I was still kind of new at all this kind of fun stuff, but I'll link it on the screen. You can have a look because I have two other colours and you can check that out. The one that I have is Raisin and I'm actually wearing it today. Go me for wearing one of the products in the video. I really enjoy these lipsticks actually and I'm delighted to have reason because my friend told me at the time to get it and I meant to get it and I never got around to it. It's a lovely kind of browny, nude, pinky shade and it's just really nice on the lips. These are really nice lipsticks. They wear really nicely, they're really creamy to apply. They do have that sort of slight metallic-y sheen to them. Um, so a sort of glossy style finish. Maybe glossy is not the right word, but it's got a sheen finish. Uh, wears really well throughout the day, applies really nicely. You can build it up if you want. You can do your single coat blot and top it up and then last even longer. But generally speaking, these wear really well. You can drink your tea and whatever else and they're nice to reapply. They apply, reapply really nicely as well. There's no weird falling up on the lips. There's no sticking to dry patches or sticking into crevices. They're a really, really nice lipstick and I'm definitely a big fan. So like I said, this is Raisin, which is 894 and I would recommend checking it out. Now, new, I think they're new. I can't find them online anywhere, so I'm assuming it's the new release. It's the Max Factor Color, Eli Color Elixir Universal Lip Liner. Getting your tongue around all of those words at once. Seriously, people. So this is just a universal lip liner. I don't know why I'm swatching it for you because it's clear, but it's one you run around the outside of your lip, you know, the very edge, just to prevent your lipstick bleeding. This is great if you're wearing a bold lipstick and you're worried that it's gonna go AWOL, but you don't have a lip, you know, you don't wanna buy a lip liner to match every one of your lipsticks. This is perfect. Um, I actually had one of these from Urban Decay. I still have it. This one's just as good. It's really nice and it's kind of got that you know this sort of waxy feel you get with lip liners, it's got that kind of feel and it mats down um, really nicely, dries down well, works a dream. I've, wore, I've tested these all out over the last two weeks, I've just been wondering about the highs with various lip products on. It works really nicely. If you do happen to get, if you do it after the after the effect and you happen to get a wee bit on, just run the edge over a bit of tissue, over your hand, you get it all off. Job's a good one and it sharpens like a normal pencil. So that's quite nifty. I was impressed that Max Factor and I are bringing one of these out. I do enjoy the Universal Lip Liners. They're very handy to have in your kit. Now, this is also, so these Max Factor bits were sent from Influencer. This is a new one to me as well. It's the Max Factor Honey um, Lacquer. And this is the shade Indul Indulgent Coral. Now I'm gonna actually pop this on the lips because it's really nice. I wasn't entirely sure about this when I popped it on. Uh, or when I got it, I was like, why am I always getting set coral things? But this is really nice on, so one second. So as you can see, there is a nice bit of colour payoff with this. It's so nice to apply. It is so nice on the lips. I cannot tell you how nice. It's just so creamy and so very soft and just, it feels like you're doing good things for your lips and it kind of matches my fingernails. But it's got that really nice creamy feel to it. It has got a bit of payoff. Now it doesn't last particularly long as you may kind of expect, but it just, it's really nice to reapply. I find myself just wondering about, like I said, I've been testing these out at home and I just find myself going, oh, just, just top that up again, just, just for the fun of it it's so very nice to apply and to wear. I think it's also quite a nice, it's not too coral, so for those of you that may not be a fan of really intense, you know, a really intense orange, which is, I have another product in a minute that is a bit more corally and orangey, this is just a really nice option. I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder to explain, but it is a really nice corally option, and I'm aware we're coming to the end of summer, and it is a summer thing. 
However, if you're a fan of coral, you're going to work hard regardless of the weather. And this is lovely. This is going to have me holding on to summer well into sort of end of September, October time. It is, for me, it's a nice nudie coral. Not too intense. Nice colour payoff. Nice to reapply. Nice to pop in your bag and just whip out and feel like you're doing good things for your lips. And I don't know. It's just a really, really nice product. I can't wait to find out more about the range actually and check out some more of the colours. But I really do like this. So nice and it applies really well. If you ever get a wee bit of extra, you know, around the edge of your lip, you can just use your finger to blot it out a wee bit and dab it back in. Not a bother. No bother at all. And it's got a really nice doe foot on it. Nice and simple. It's just got a top end. You know, it's a roundy end. It's not too fancy like, but it's perfect. Does the job really, really nicely. So that's it for the Max Factor products from Influencer. Like I said, I'll leave a link to uh, the review on these. Be gentle, 2013 people, but the general gist is there and you can see the swatches and I've done swatches for this. The Colour Elixir, recommend checking it out. I'm looking forward to having one of those on the high street that's really good. And the Max Factor Honey Elixir. Honey Lacquer, excuse me. Love it. Love it very, very much. Can't wait to see more of the colours. I have been checking out some of the other colours that uh, other people on the campaign have been doing. They look really nice. They look really nice. Now, on to the next product. This is from Collection and it is Blissful Peach. Check out that for an orange. In the package all by itself. It looks pretty intense and very, very, very peachy. <laughs> so I was a bit like, oh no, not another one. And I'm not. I've kind of gone off wearing really orange things because I don't know if it goes with my hair and I end up always doing like pinky purple eyes at the minute. I don't know, I finally have unpacked some of my makeup and that's what I keep pulling out. But I actually kind of think this goes a wee bit. It's kind of got a nice clash. Does that make sense? Anyway, we're going to talk about this product. This is a new release. Um, it was a recent thing that they're doing. One, I can't find it online to share with you either, but keep your eyes out. It will be coming out if it's not out already by the time this video goes up. This has got SPF 15. Hooray! Um, I'm a big fan of having SPF in your lips. Let me just remove this lip color and I'll pop this on so you can see. Now, as you can see, it is definitely a bit more of an intense orangey shade of peach but it's actually I'm impressed I really like it like I said I kind of went off these colors for a wee bit but I think this works quite well with this because they're both muted it could be just in my head I like a bit of color clashing at the minute um, but I really like it this product is so nice to wear I've been my mother-in-law thinks I'm slightly mental because we're staying with her at the minute and I tend to just wander around with lipstick on and nothing else. Well, no other makeup on. But this is really, really nice. It feels really hydrating on the lips. This stays on surprisingly well. I was very surprised by this and impressed. I was really impressed. I kind of expect it as collection. So I like collection, don't get me wrong, but it is very much um, cheap high street brand so you can't think oh it's only going to kick about for a wee bit and then I have to reapply and reapply. No this actually hangs about for quite some time. I had multiple cups of tea. There was still colour on my lips. It had faded I'd grant you but it was still really nice and you could still have that hint of colour so it's like I've just done a wash and blotted it out with my finger. It was that kind of intensity. I have of course reapplied this numerous times and it reapplies really well. It is actually really nice on. It feels really soft and creamy on the lips. It feels just not quite as, you know, they're both really nice products on. This one's obviously feels like you're having a treatment on your lips, whereas this one is just feels like a really nice creamy lipstick that has got something good in it that's helping. Um, really, really like this. Sadly, I don't have any information, which is a wee bit frustrating. If I find something, I will link it down below. I will obviously do a blog post on this and I'm trying to go through my PR list at the minute to see who has sent this to me and find out because one, I want more and two, to give you some better information. Sadly, I've not had any reply just yet. But check out the blog post. There will be more information and, and I like it. I like it a lot. So that is new to me at the minute. Those are the products that I have been testing out and if you have any questions about them, let me know check out the blog post for you know if you want to have a good stare at the swatches rather than a passing image there you go 
If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a million for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please tell all of your friends. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!